what is up everybody welcome back to our daily upload here on mic drop sports i'm your host jason as always let's dive in here on a tuesday a tuesday in which i have a question for you is calvin austin now the wide receiver two for your Pittsburgh Steelers. Is he the guy that has emerged in that wide receiver room to take some of the pressure off of the superstar George Pickens? Question that's being asked. I think it's still maybe a little bit too early to determine that, but I still want to ask that question and still want to ask, do the Steelers need to figure out a solution after the Bengals? fall last night the Steelers take a little bit more of a lead inside of the AFC North and lead this division uh in in a big way you have teams that haven't won yet you have teams with one win and there the Steelers sit three and oh right now doing the damn thing making things happen building a lead inside of the division it makes you wonder if the Steelers can keep this up And again, it makes you wonder about the question that I posed at the beginning of the show. Is Calvin Austin now wide receiver two? Is he good enough? Is he um, a big enough player physically to be able to handle that role? So many questions remain, and I really wonder if the Steelers should go out there and try to make a move here before the deadline. The Pittsburgh Steelers have an opportunity in front of them that they haven't had in quite some time. An opportunity to put a real chokehold on this division. An opportunity that could lead them into a a very successful situation, scenario, in the back half of the season. To where they could be the only team that could possibly afford a, a small blunder, a small hiccup inside of the back half of the season. Those are exciting things to think of. Just even thinking of a trade before the deadline for a wide receiver, that's exciting to think of. And if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, it's something that we haven't got to feel in a long, long time, man, Uh, to where we feel uh, a little bit pumped up that this team could potentially do some damage, just not in the regular season, but in the playoffs. That kind of hype is surrounding this football team, guys, right now. That kind of of excitement is starting to brew in this city, and there's nothing better in the city of Pittsburgh and surrounding areas than Pittsburgh Steelers' uh, playoff football environment to where the team is doing good. Everybody is talking about them. The buzz is crazy, Uh, and it's just awesome. It's just awesome feeling to have. So let's dive in here today and talk about wide receiver two and what that could possibly mean after. The Steelers, again, have another weekend in which they continue to gain ground on teams inside of the AFC North. Wide receiver two is a position in which I think is a little bit overblown, considering I think it could be done by committee. I think it could be done by guys like Roman Wilson, Calvin Austin, Van Jefferson. I think all those guys could step up and take on that role and spread the wealth. And I still think, that spreading the ball around in this is the most uh, the best thing that they could do, possibly. I think that that is what keeps them balanced. I don't think just going out there and, and for the sake of getting a big-name guy to be the number two target uh, is worth what it would cost, in my opinion. I think Calvin Austin has worked his ass off this offseason and possesses the ability to do those things that I'm talking about, be the wide receiver two in the situations that a wide receiver two is needed, tote the ball in, in big situations and come up big for the Steelers like he did Sunday. He came up on big, big third downs. He came up with a touchdown, a long one. Uh, almost had 100 yards receiving, and I know a large chunk of that came on his 55-yard touchdown, but yet there were still other moments in which Calvin Austin was able to shine. Now I know you worry about his blocking. I know you worry about um, his size just in general, and if he is going to physically be able to get the job done as the wide receiver too. And I can't answer that. Neither can you. Uh, And we need to just continue to watch it. But Calvin Austin possesses the athletic ability to get the job done. And I think once you start to see guys like Roman Wilson, a guy like him that would 
really honestly with his skill set in college what i saw from him in college his skill set there really would mess mesh well with this offense of arthur smith i really think that you are going to see something special when you start to see roman wilson i hope that's this year i hope you start to see him this coming week I think that that was the issue this week. He wasn't prepared. He wasn't ready. Uh, he didn't have enough practices under his belt at full strength to make the Steelers comfortable to insert him in the game plan. And that's what it leads me to, guys, with Roman Wilson, with Calvin Austin, with the possibilities that are there. I don't think that you go out and make a hasty move, uh, a move that, you know, doesn't make sense. A move that you give up a ton of a ton of draft capital, a ton of money when you have resources. And I just don't think you go out there and make that stupid move. And I know a lot of people want it. And that's why I think Calvin Austin is the number two wide receiver right now. And that's just on a week by week basis. It doesn't have to be Calvin Austin every week. And I think once you start to see players healthy, I think once you start to see this offense get into mixing around the football a little bit and not focusing on one player or a group of players, but spreading it out to everybody, I think that those players emerge each and every week. And I think that you will see the Steelers game plan change each and every week to where you will see a new player succeed, a new player be the feature of the offense. I, I really think that that is exactly how this team starts to handle this. Don't think that Omar Khan goes out there and makes some crazy move and put the Steelers and puts the Steelers into a bad situation moving forward. I just don't see that happening for Arthur Smith, right? Or for Omar Khan right now. I don't think that he is interested in that, but you never know. The deal could get done because the right deal could fall into the Steelers' lap. And you know how Omar Khan likes to get things on a discount, players on a discount. And perhaps that situation does arise. But that is the only situation in which I think the Pittsburgh Steelers go out and make any type of deal. That is if the absolute right cheapest deal comes down and falls into their lap. I think they do their due diligence. I think they go out there and inquire about a ton of talent around the league on teams that are losing football games right now. Teams that aren't going to have maybe a chance late in the year. Teams that are going to look to rebuild and start to look toward the future instead of looking at the 2024 season. I think that is exactly where the Pittsburgh Steelers are right now in terms of who they're going to be looking at and what kind of deal that they are going to be looking for and what they're going to do right now with this current roster. I think they are comfortable with what they have right now. And that makes a ton of sense to me. Again, I think that this is going to be an, an offense uh, of many faces. I think this is going to be an offense that does a lot of different things and is not going to look the same each and every week. Yes, I think they found their identity. They want to pound the football at you no matter if it's successful or not. And they want to hit you with big plays. But I think it's going to be a different person each and every week to shine to get to that that elite level to where we're going to be talking about them, you know, pumped up about their potential, pumped up about their ceiling. You have weapons on this offense that haven't even been utilized yet, that haven't even been looked at yet. Connor Hayward, I think, is one that still is waiting to explode. I think that you will see him take off at some point this season. I think Calvin Austin and Roman Wilson combined can really do some damage, especially with their speed, with their athleticism, with their ways of being able to do gimmicky type plays if needed. I think that you have and possess all of the weapons that you truly need in order to be successful. But the question remains, is it enough? Is a wide receiver two, a true wide receiver two needed? And I don't know if that answer is yes. And I think nobody really knows until we see the Steeler team continue to play some ball games here ahead of the trade deadline. So <clears throat> I want you guys to put in the comments exactly what you're thinking about this football team in terms of the wide receiver position. I know that it was a hot topic this offseason. 
talked about it a lot when the Brandon Ayuk situation was going on. And uh, we beat it to death. But I think it's an important subject right now after the performance of Calvin Austin in week three. I think it's an important topic right now considering Roman Wilson is on the cusp of returning to the Steelers uh, to get his first action of the season. I think Van Jefferson still has some um, untapped potential. And I know a lot of people say he sucks and I know a lot of people aren't high on him, but I still think there's something there for a guy that had 10 touchdowns and almost a thousand yards on a Super Bowl winning roster. I think that there is still some potential that hasn't been tapped into. And I'm excited to see what he can do. I think Scotty Miller is a guy that can get the job done too as a four or five on this roster. So again, there's weapons here, guys, and there is opportunity for the Steelers to continue to mix it up and to uh, show different talent each and every week. So put in the chat what you guys think about this situation and what you want to see from the Steelers moving forward. If it's a trade, if it's, uh, you know, rolling with the guys that they currently have on the roster and just kind of seeing how it goes. Or, or what 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 do you want to see happen with this wide receiver room? And uh, we'll we will start looking into uh, game four, week four for your Pittsburgh Steelers as they head into the Indianapolis Colts. And uh, what uh, a matchup that I think they can come out for now, and I think that they can come out and, and even add a little bit more ground to what they've been able to do and build on what they've been able to do so far. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. But week four, I think, will be in another, another exciting week for your Steelers. Uh, I hope that they don't go backwards and go into that ultra-conservative offense. Uh, I hope Mike Tomlin continues to allow Justin Fields to grow inside of Arthur Smith's system. And I think uh, things will continue to start to look up for the Steelers. And uh, again, guys, it's an exciting time to be a Steelers fan. Don't listen to the hate out there talking about it's a fake 3-0 and team. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, guys, and have fun with it because there is nothing better than having a winner in the city of Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas rooting for this football team. Is it? It's an exciting thing to, to have going on, and uh, I want you to relish in that moment. So until tonight, guys, uh, for the live show, I'm Jason. This was the daily upload, and uh, we appreciate you for stopping through. So until then, man, peace. Thank you. See you on the next one, guys.